Let's move now to the Western Cape. And today, sparks flew in Gululetu during Police Minister Becky Kele's visit. Now, he was there to address the area's surge in violent crime and ongoing mass shootings in and around Guguletu. But things got really tense when community members and civil rights organization Action Society started accusing him of neglecting the province. ENCA reporter Nobisutu Ijana was there. She joins us now. So Nobisutu, <laughs> Ian Cameron is now on the map, uh, primarily because the police minister has put him there um, by getting him hauled out of this public meeting. You watch this whole thing go down live. What on earth happened? Certainly, Sally. In fact, when we were there, the minister did say that it's not an imbizo because quite a lot of people in Guguletu and Nyanga were complaining that the minister holds these imbizos, but then nothing happens. So they were calling on the minister to fire police officers that aren't doing their job and having more resources brought in into the province. So when action societies Ian Cameron took the podium or held the mic just to pose the questions to the minister. I mean, it turned out to a different scene. So basically, he asked the minister why did he not um, invite the municipal and the provincial safety authorities and saying that if he wants community members to work with police, he should also involve um, local authorities and also saying that the minister is, in, is not in touch with the reality of the people staying in these communities because he would come out and hold events but then the people are left on their own. People are being killed each and every day and saying that um, these interactions are not yielding to any positive results. So he basically called out minister and saying that he's failing as a minister of police and they are actually asking that he be fired so when he spoke uh, the minister did listen to him but then obviously things took a turn when the minister took the podium but let's take a listen to what Ian said about what happened to him here's the thing minister Tele is making this a political issue he talks about partnerships not the provincial government, not the other NGOs that work in the area, or even the city was invited to this. We're an, a different NGO working in the region with gender-based violence. We represent many victims in this area. Just this morning we were in court again. Then he comes and he starts speaking about freedom fighting and he speaks about political issues while 153 women will be raped in South Africa today. While 67 people will be murdered in South Africa today. While in this area alone, along with Kailicha, more than 50 people have been shot in mass shootings in less than seven months. And he wants to come and talk politics. I don't see him patrolling with the community. I don't see Tele patrolling with all the brave ladies from the neighborhood watches here. And then he shouts at me. He tells me to shut up because I said to him, do not speak down to me. I don't mind speaking straight to someone, but look me in the eye and let me speak honestly. We speak like gentlemen, and if we don't have to be nice, but we speak directly. Mm. Uh, which sounds all very reasonable. Before we carry on chatting, I want us to listen to the altercation, uh, just to understand exactly how heated things became during that meeting. Let's take a listen. I did not join human rights battles yesterday. That's why I was sent to prison. That's why I was sent to Robben Island. That's why I lived in the cold water. That's why I ate bad food, because I was fighting for human rights. That's why today we have human rights. Don't teach me about human rights. Don't tell me and tell about the safety of my people. I fought for it. I nearly died for it. I was arrested for it. I was exiled for it. Don't, don't provoke me. Don't, don't talk things that you have studied and you have heard, you have been told about. I've lived this life. I've lived the life of being African. I've lived the life when my mother was called a kitchen girl, when my father was called a garden boy. I've lived that life. 
And I'm not going to take any nonsense of somebody who regards me as a garden boy today because you regard me as a garden boy. You come here, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I sat here, I sat here, I listened to you. I sat here, I listened to you talking nonsense. Listen, it's your time to listen. Sit down and listen, young man. Oh, get out! Oh, get out! Yeah, it's clearly a really tense uh, confrontation. And, you know, the minister is used to being in very heated meetings, particularly in that area where people are frustrated and angry about crime. Um, and clearly, he has, he's very, very angry. Ian Cameron refusing to leave both seem to be saying you've insulted me you know um i know that you've spoken to the police minister afterwards uh i think let's take a little listen to that because as we heard um ian cameron sounded very calm afterwards in fact we don't have that bite uh from the police minister so you tell us what did he say afterwards did he did he calm down did he explain himself well, it did come down and continued addressing the community of Guguletu and Nyanga about some of the concerns that they've raised. But we spoke to him outside just to get a clear indication as to why was the provincial and the municipal um, safety authorities not invited. Because I did reach out to the new MEC, uh, Mr. Regan Allen in the province, just to find out whether he was attending that particular meeting. And he did say that his office was not invited. Invited. So the minister says because um, that was not an imbizo, he just wanted to speak to the residents of those communities just to find out what suggestions do they have for police and trying to combat crime. So in the next meeting, he plans to invite uh, the MEC saying that they have a good relationship. So it's something that he's proud of and uh, he will also plans to invite the municipal, um, the city of Cape Town safety uh, department also in those imbizos and not only those two um, departments but he also plans to invite other stakeholders such as the department uh, the justice department and also the transport department I want to ask you um, a comment that the police minister said when he was getting angry he said I listened to you now you listen to me now obviously we can't play the entire interaction we haven't got that entire clip but talk to me about what happened before uh, that clip we played was Ian Cameron heckling uh, the police minister was he hurling insults because that seems to be the suggestion from the police minister so when the minister started to talk about um, his father and mother being a gardening boy and uh, Ian speaking to him as if he's a garden boy, so Ian took offense and he stood up and the minister was not happy with that. That's why he was saying, sit down because I had given you an opportunity when you had time, when you were addressing me. So Ian was also talking back and saying that I am not going to shut up, which is something that he also explained when we were outside saying that I could take on the minister, but then you can't tell me to shut up. You must talk to me like a normal person. So it was a back and forth, uh, but the minister obviously being in the podium and having the mic, hence he was altering and screaming at him to shut up and sit down. And if he does not want to sit down, he must then leave. Talk to me about how everyone else responded. Were people feeling sympathy for the minister? or feeling that Ian had made a good point. Uh, what did people say to you? So the minister, when he was done talking to Ian, he then turned on to the people who were attending that meeting and, and told them that you guys clap for everyone. When Ian was talking and addressing me, you clapped for him. So when I'm speaking to him, you are also clapping for me, so don't clap. But uh, quite a lot of people were in between their feelings so they were not sure how to handle that situation hence you could hear a lot of noise and people shouting and some even clapping and also asking Ian to leave because they were not sure how to handle that particular um, situation and police had to escort him out all right well thank you very much sounds like a very heated meeting and I'm not sure what was achieved in terms of dealing 
uh, with crime in that area. That was reporter Nobusutu Hijani, who was there when the police minister and Ian Cameron of Action Society had this massive argument. Uh, we are going to be speaking to Ian Cameron at a quarter past six to get his side of the story, and we'd love to speak to the minister if he'd like to come on and chat to us as well. Still to come on SA tonight, calls for government to lead the development of a comprehensive...